Hey guys, Hokey Homebrew here, and this is the Double Triple the Mike Dean Experiment IPA. Um, I used all Galena hops, and uh, mine came out at about 7.8% ABV, about 87 IBUs. I dry hopped with Galena as well, and I did not put any, I just put them in as pellets. Didn't put it in a muslin bag or anything like that. I should have done that probably because, um, you know, I'm getting a little bit of hop, a little bit of hop uh, flakes coming into my beer there. And also the beer is kind of hazy to begin with, but I ain't scared because it tastes delicious. I'm gonna taste it. So the nose is just like straight up, like citrus and like spicy galena. It's got a thick mouthful. I kind of liken it to almost to a barley wine taste. It's got a very thick, um, kind of a sweet malt backbone. But then in the back of the tongue, at the back of that uh, sip, just hits you with the hot bitterness. Uh, mine actually fermented, and the reason it's only 7.7 .7 is it stopped around 1020, 1021 which would explain it being, you know, so thick and kind of malty tasting. But uh, my original gravity was 1077, I believe. And so it ended up around 7.7. .7. But yeah, it's delicious. It came out a little darker than I was expecting, given the grain bill. Um, you can look here and see the color. And this is in a really kind of a skinny glass that I've got. This isn't a normal size glass. When I put it in a normal fatter pint glass, it's, it's pretty dark. Um, which was surprising, but overall it tastes really good. Very spicy, very uh, citrusy. Like I said, it's more of a barley wine taste. I mean, it's got a thick malt backbone, uh, almost a syrupy consistency to it, but then it's, it hits you with that hot bitterness. And you can smell it really nicely on the nose. Good head retention, good lacing as some of our uh, old friends would say on YouTube, TSA. Shout out to you if you're watching. But uh, yeah, no, overall it was a good, good beer. Great experiment. Even I wasn't part of the experiment. I, I went ahead and brewed it anyways. Um, so thanks, Mike, for putting that on. I'm planning on hopefully bottling a couple and sing, sending them out to some people that I've already talked to. Um, that's if I can find the time to do it and even get bottles. I don't even have a single bottle in here right now. I have pretty much given up on bottling. Um, I'm gonna talk to uh, Gary, main brew guy, whenever he comes down. By the way, he's coming down, so he's coming to Jacksonville, and he's coming to visit. And we're gonna do a collaborative brew day, hopefully, as long as I can get my uh, brew pot back up and running, um, which will be fun. But I'm gonna talk to him when he gets here about canning because I think that's the way to go. So hopefully, I can get a few bottles and send them out to Mike and Gary and SJ Poor and a couple of you guys that I've talked to, and let you try it, even though I'm not in the experiment, but. Um, yeah, great beer, great recipe, Mike, and uh, I enjoyed doing it. It's, uh, I'll change a few things next time, like putting the uh, dry hops in a bag, because I ended up losing a lot of beer just from the secondary being so nasty and gunky afterwards. I only really got three quarters of a keg out of it, so the beer itself is almost gone, to be honest with you which is uh, disappointing and uh, anyways just doing some brew chores and tasting that beer I thought I'd throw up a quick video got some new chairs um, for guests to sit in but what I was saying here I might as well explain this is in the middle of my brew day last week um, I was doing a double batch I was doing a stout and then followed by a sour and right at the end of the boil for the stout uh, the heating element decided to go and burn out on me. So right now the boil kettle does not heat up liquid. I've ordered a replacement. It's on the way and I'm hoping that's what the problem was. I didn't actually confirm that but I'm assuming that's what happened because it just stopped boiling out of nowhere and the control panel would show that the element was on here and it would have the light on and it would show it's pulling the 240 volts but it would be pulling zero amps. So it, it was obvious that it wasn't doing anything. So. Pretty sure it's the element. Um, fed the system for several years now, so 
I'm sure those things just go bad eventually. And anyway, so hopefully that fixes it. And if that fixes it, the main Gary are going to be brewing, main brew guy are going to be brewing a uh, porter, I believe, is what we determined. And I'm not sure what he's going to do with his half. I think he might cold throw some coffee in it or something, cold brew it in secondary. Who knows? But anyways, that'll be fun to, to meet up with him and have a brew day and share some beers. So anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hokey Homebrew. Later.